Hey guys, Michelle here from Cashel Creations. Welcome back to my channel. Hope you guys are having a fantastic day today. Um, today I actually have a collective haul from like six different places. I've acquired it over the last month and I figured I'll just share with you all the fun finds that I've been coming across. Some things, well, everything I don't have in my <laughs> craft room, they're all brand new to me. So I definitely cannot wait um, to dive in and play with them. Um, here are some of the things I definitely will show you first. These three items I did pick up from Simon Says Stamp. I'll leave their link down below if you're interested in checking them out if you don't know who they are. Um, none of these purchases are affiliated with them. These are my own purchases. And so this is pretty cool. It's by Stampers Anonymous and it's etc. tags. Um, basically what they are... These are actually the trim pieces, as you can see here. One looks like a bat webbing, um, and so they basically stack. So they basically are for the sole purpose of building up a substrate. So if you're working with vignettes or if you're working off of a clipboard or something like that, um, these are of a thick chipboard. They kind of look like a... almost a eighth of an inch in thickness if you guys can see that um and what's nice is that you basically will just pop these out they're laser cut and you would just use them on your substrate so you can see you have different styles different sizes so i've seen people use these and i've never had them in my stash and now that it's spooky season i said why not so i picked these up I also picked up these um, etc. trims. So these are just um, three different sizes as you can see here. And it's basically the same thickness as well. And so you can see you have five here of the three different sizes. And these are not together, so I will pop one out for you guys. And you can see they are separated. Okay, maybe you need an exacto knife to do this. You always want to cut away from your fingers so you don't hurt yourself. Okay, there we go. So I'll just have to trim that off. But you can see they are two pieces. One's wider than the other. And basically what you can do is you can make them into ledges and stuff like that. So that is pretty neat. You never know when you need a trim. This is basically better than having your own glow forge to cut them. Because a Cricut machine won't be able to cut that thickness. That's way too thick. You'll be there forever. As well as I don't even think it will go through um, the blade. And the last thing I picked up from Simon Says Stamp is this mini thick board tag and it's a tombstone style so you can kind of see how big it is um let's just take it out so you see here is the main piece and it's really big um it is eight inches by about four and a half and so you can leave it like this if you want to. Um, you don't have to create the tombstone effect, but here are your pieces to essentially build what you see here. So I thought that was pretty cool. Can't wait to give that a go. And so put that off to the side. The next thing I did was, or not did, <laughs> over the month, um, Michaels recently had changed their Halloween selections from either 40 to 50% off depending on what the items were. And I came across this ribbon, glows in the dark. It is so stinking cute. I, I don't know what I'm gonna use it for, but I couldn't resist it, so I got it. <laughs> I, that's my downfall. Um, so yeah, I just wanted to share it with you. It is gonna be in their Halloween section, um, and it's their brand, I believe. And so it is glow in the dark. I did, um, it was $10 retail, but I believe the ribbon was 50% off, so I only paid five. I also came across um, these doilies. Now, I'm not having a Christmas party this, oh, sorry, Halloween party this year, but my mind went to junk journaling. I don't know 
if it will work but i thought it would be pretty cool to just cut them in not cut them uh fold them in half and so they also had one there that was a spider web design i believe for me i didn't see how um folding it in half would work let's see if i can separate this real quick without breaking it so here is one and so again my thought was if i went like this to have a book where this was in between the pages could it break yes would it work i don't know but i thought i would give it a go i think this was 40 percent off of five dollars so i thought it was worth the try if not they are kind of cool i'll probably just end up doing something else with them but um i couldn't pass it up because you know how things go these times if you see it get it if you if you wait sometimes it's just not there um, I did that with the transparency. I bought it when I saw it. Even though it wasn't on sale, I had a coupon for it. I went back um, this past weekend and they're gone. Now, at least at my Michaels. So, these two things I picked up at Michaels. And then I got to Hobby Lobby. Now, Hobby Lobby doesn't do Halloween. Um, but I did go down their jewelry section. And I believe this was about a week or two ago that I got these on sale. They were 40% off and I couldn't resist. I'm an 80s baby, so these were super cool. Now, essentially, you can make them into earrings, bracelets, necklace, whatever you want, keychains. I think I'm going to make this into um, a dangle. I think it would be really cool to put on the side of the spine of a folio of some sort. And they are pretty thick acrylic, so I really, really love them. I'm not sure if they glow in the dark it kind of gives me that black light effect but pick those up i also picked up in their christmas section even though everything else will not be christmas um they had this ho 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 which i thought would be really cute on a dangle as well so i scored this one their christmas stuff was 50 percent off then i picked up some random things um these are the eye pins i don't have any and i thought this would be good to have in my stash and then i picked up some more of these head pins since i've been making all those charms and these are longer it definitely will help out when i start making more with words in them i'm a sucker for my little pony <laughs> and so it was only 74 cents this was i think the residual from the clearance sections that they've been doing so i picked that up and then I've never seen these before. Um, if they've been there and it just never caught my eye, I don't know. But I got them because my mind went to the Ideology Paper Dolls. Um, I do know that Ideology, Ideology has their own uh, like bat wings and stuff like that and transparencies. But even though these are more for jewelry or something in the sense of brooches or pins, I don't know it just called me so since it was 40 percent off at the time i got one in each color i didn't see it in the bronze ones but i got the gold and silver so i thought that was pretty fun we'll definitely figure out what to do with them there's only five in each of them so not a big deal all right next thing up scrapbook.com um i haven't really finished watching their scrap fest that they had going on but they did offer this free cozy wreath. So I picked it up because usually their freebies kind of coordinate with their um, free weekend event that they do with their crafting. So I definitely have to figure out if it did because I haven't finished watching it yet. And then they also had at the time a free uh, Picket Fences Lux, which is Purple Rain. And look at that sparkle. It's so pretty. So I picked that one up. I wonder how it would look on a, on a Halloween card. Let's figure that out when I get to there next. Also, they had a promo that if you spent $20, you got these um, Doodle Pops. And since I've been hoarding Doodle Bug lately, I figured, well, let's see what I can spend $20 on, which I will show you next. So these were the option. I don't know if this was a fee for spending $20 or if it was free. I honestly cannot recall, but they're super cute. Here's a ruler with a craft bag. 
This one is chocolate bits with its little, you know, M&Ms or whatnot. This one is scissors and glue and a camera. Who doesn't love a cute camera? So the item I did, I know for sure I paid money for, was um, Elizabeth Craft Designs. These are their new um, ticket options, which I still haven't played with yet. It's on my bucket list to do, or my checklist, I should say. Um, but I just really love this concept. They did say that it, some of these mainly coordinate with their dies that they have, so I will do a video to try that out. Um, but I just love it. So this one says trolley bus ticket hip hip hooray this one says day in the life original copy this one says trolley bus ticket but it's two separate stamps this one says daily news with a little hand pointer and then you have admit one fact Psst, i love you special day 100 percent. and this one says today r you can make for ready right priceless this one says single fare with the number two on it. This one has coupon 10 cents. This one's a cute camera. Love that. Then here are just numbers. And then live, love, sparkle. This one says yes to this. And then down here it says tell your story. And then it's a whole big one, which I really, really love that one. So I can't wait to play with that. So this I obtained from scrapbook.com. Then I discovered, <laughs> I discovered a new site thanks to one of my friends, um, Br Brutus Monroe. I think I'm saying that right. Yeah, Brutus Monroe. They <laughs> they had a sale going on, so it was like a Halloween sale, and so they I I did a little shopping as you can see, and I got a free gift. Super cute. It's a cappuccino maker, I believe, or coffee maker. Look how cute that is. Would be perfect for like a little tag or a card. And then I honestly, believe it or not, don't have a craft tool heat gun. I do have an embossing gun, but as I've um, learned from Tim Holtz, sometimes an embossing gun is too much heat when you might need a little lesser heat. And that embossing tool I have, embossing gun I have, doesn't have um, two levels of heat. So I invested in one of those. And then we got a little trick-or-treat, which was so cool. And I opened this earlier and then closed it. Oh my gosh, can't do this, can I? Okay, here we go. So I got one of their finishing glazes. So that will be interesting to try. I've never tried any of their stuff. And then they had this humongous, <laughs> etc. tag. Now this is again the same kind of stuff I was showing earlier except the length is 12 inches by almost yeah by six and a half and as you can see there's two in here so that is kind of nice it doesn't even fit in the camera so um, they have these little circles to kind of put up here like if you were to put a real tag so this is like if it got, you know, mutant juice, it like just amplified itself. So really, really a lot of fun. So what I was showing you earlier with the etc. tags, as you can see, like this long one might fit or even this one, if I want to put like a ledge to kind of like do a little um, creation of myself, uh, then using a vignette tray. So this is a lot of fun. I really can't wait to play with it. And then the last thing I picked up from <laughs> Brutus Monroe was um, their Halloween advent calendar. Now by the time this has aired on my YouTube channel, it's already October. Or in fact, it's already October as I'm filming this. So I am just gonna open the first one. And as you can see, it's right here. So I'm just going to open it like this, and we're going to see what is in here. If I can get it out, because it looks like it's a container. Ooh! Looks like embossing um, material, because it's shaking. 
though it doesn't have a name on it. All right, well, we'll see what I get next. Um, so I will try to do a little snip of the videos um, to show you what they are. I might do another one only because um, by the time this airs, it's no longer October 1st. Um, but yeah, it's so much fun. I've never done one like this before, even though I have my own personal advent calendar that I showed you guys. Um, this is going to be a lot of fun. So it actually goes 13 and then you get a boo. So I guess 14 if you want to consider 14 days. So this is a lot of fun. I can't wait to try it. And then last but not least, the bigger haul. And that is all from a cherry on top. So I'm going to show you um, things here and there. So here is another etc. Um, from Semper's Anonymous. These are a thick board. They do have newer other ones that I didn't get. Um, I only got these because I like the concept behind it. And I'm going to explain to you in a second. So you have three panels. You have two that are straight boards and then one that has these straight boards cut in half. Now, you can do one of two things. You can just use the frame. You can just use the tiles individually, or you can utilize the whole thing as it stands. And the reason why I say that is because it's your choice how you want to utilize it. There's no right or wrong answer. Um, that's the beauty of crafting. It is how you want to make it. If you wanted to pop one out, like to make it like a jigsaw, and therefore you have dimension, or if you wanted to raise them on top of each other to give them depth, it's whatever you want. You can put whatever you want on them. Um, I find it very inspirational to check out Tim Holtz's YouTube channel. If you haven't, um, regardless of <laughs> whether or not you purchase any of his other products, um, a lot of the makers actually use some of these etc. in their makes. And he does point it out to you. Um, definitely worth the watch. I know sometimes his videos can be long, but trust me. They are worth it and um, definitely can take notes. So I got that. Let's go through, I guess, section by section. So I picked up Prima's um, new Twilight collection. And I just love the color concepts. I think it's so yummy and different. I want to say I'm a blue girl, purple girl, pink girl. I don't think I am specific for a color, but um, you know, it can be traditional, it doesn't have to be traditional, but this pink in the Halloween collection is super, super cute. I should have probably done this before I started my video, right? Thanks for bearing with me. So this is an 8x8 pad. I believe they have 6x6 and 12x12. I really like the diversity in the 8x8 option. Not many um, designers, companies, collections do that. I think it's pretty awesome that they're able to incorporate that as an option. And so we are double-sided on these paper pads. So you can see that there. And I want to say there is three, four there's four so there's four different um pages of the same design and you get again front and back and it's kind of nice because that way you know you can utilize them and you don't have to worry about buying more sheets of course you are limited into the design concepts but i really really like that page so cute evidence and in the back you have all these cute pumpkins and then here you have a collection of them with that cute little spider and the banner. I want to make sure that's not the next page over. And then you have these banner strips. That pumpkin with that little basket on its head is so adorable. And then here you have the witch on her broomstick. And then you have all those bats and stars. And then here you have... Some more cut apart so you can kind of see where the line goes so it's easy for cutting cutting and i really like her on that 
card. And then the other side are these stripes. So that is the 8x8. Now they do have other things to go with it. Excuse me. But I didn't buy everything of the collection. Um, my main reason why was because I still have last year's collection. And some of the stuff looked like it kind of goed or went. Sorry, I don't know where that came from. Kind of went with the other collections. So I didn't want to hoard more things than I need to. But these are tags. Um, you can make this into a mini album. You can just use it as it is. And I do think that there's the same amount for in this one. And then you have, and it's double-sided. So that's kind of nice. Right? There's four. Yeah. Just love the pink. Oh, that's so pretty. I do like how there's different images in these. So this one kind of goes with that one. Here is the witch with the music notes at the bottom. So we have the same backing. I think they did the same thing last time. Love that eating at the table. Yeah, same backing. And then we have this one, which these kind of remind me of the cut aparts in the 8x8. She is adorable. I think she was used in the last years as well, but I could be wrong. 31. I don't know what it is about music notes, but I feel like it kind of like ties things in sometimes. Oh, look at that pumpkin. He's so cute. So definitely love that. So that's, those are the tags in case you're looking for those. And then they had two things of ephemera. They are different. Um, one has 62 pieces and one has 64. And they kind of give you an idea on the back. Now they do have two of each design. So we'll, we'll go with this one first. And of course, do I have a thingy at the bottom? I hate when they don't do that. All right. Okay, here we go. So we have here a raven, and you have the white um, offset around him, so you can definitely ink that baby up. And then we have pumpkins, and we have like a wax seal. We have this cute um, vintage looking house. We have a foil moon with clouds. This pumpkin girl, oh my gosh, so freaking amazing. Have another crow. We have 31. Oh, look, we have crows with uh, bow ties on them. <laughs> That's different. We have a Halloween with some foiling on it. We have two little pumpkins. We have another girl. We have a rose. We have a, I want to say a gorge, but it's probably a pumpkin. Another moon at the 31. And my pumpkin guy. Call him Pat. <laughs> I don't know why. And then we have another pumpkin. Oh, this is cute. Oddities. Figure one. OMG. This little girl. I mean, it could be a boy too. So stinking amazing. And then we have grimoires, right? Is that what it says? We have October 31st in a pink with gold foiling on it. We have some second grand masquerade ball. Ooh, we have some little flag banners, or I guess just banners in itself. It's not a flag. So remember, we have two of everything, so we've already seen this and this and our little pumpkin girl or boy. We have another one of these. We have a manual. We have one that says Happy Halloween. We have another little pumpkin guy. Pumpkin. Oh, another wax seal. This one says Trick or Treat. I really like how it gives you that frayed edge. Super pretty. We have some playing cards with the numbers 31 in it. 
We have here pumpkins and then one with gold foiling. We have one that says evidence. We have a cluster of pumpkins. And then we have a pumpkin kid with an owl. We hoot a Halloween greeting to you. Super cute. All right, and then the other one we have here, I guess the same thing. Let's take it from the back. So the pieces that did not come with me. So one says, strange things. This one oh, is a butterfly or a moth, however you interpret that. We have a star, we have a song that says the raven. So again, we get two of everything. Here we have some tags. So if you don't get the tag book that I showed you, here's another different tag. This one comes with three. I don't know if that was an error. We have spiders, we have stars. Oh, we have a cauldron. And then we have two more tags in the pinkish tone. And we have another cauldron, stars, spiders. Oh my God, look how cool this guy is. Or is it a witch? Maybe it's a girl. Then we have a haunted night. <gasps> this one has a cat in it. Oh my God, that's so cute. We have more stars. I don't know, I think I like this one more than the other one, but I might be wrong. I'm glad I got them both. Here's another girl, then we have some more pumpkins, which are actually different from the first one. These are more traditional pumpkins. We have one that's a strange things. We have another one that says a haunted night. Ooh, this spider is with gold foiling. We have this one that actually came from the um, cut apart in the eight in the twelve in the eight by eight pack that I showed you. So you can definitely use that. We have some pumpkins here. We have let's see some little um, banner strips. Then we have the girl again with some more stars and butterflies. Ooh, this is a new one. She's on her broomstick with her little kitty cat. So adorable. So we got two of them. I'm really glad we have two of everything. Um, here's another one. This one has a crow's. How adorable is this? Ah, uh, I'm loving it. Okay, those we've all seen already. And then we have here with um, the witch was casting a spell. And then we have this one. Oh, I love the splatter of the foiling. Hopefully you guys can, can see that glimmer. Okay, so this was the stuff I picked up from, I believe the collection is Twilight. And then what I'm gonna put this off to the side without spilling anything. And so the next one I'm gonna show you is American Crafts Happy Halloween. Um, I saw this on a uh, Leo by Mail site and when I was placing an order with a cherry on top, I'm like, oh my gosh, I gotta get this. And I'm gonna show you why in a second because the coloring is very different from your typical Halloween, but then it also has foiling on the paper. Now from what I've heard, I have not seen, is that the 12 by 12 sheets have no foiling on them, just the six by eight pad. If I'm wrong, someone please let me know down below, but I think that they don't have that on the 12 by 12. So as you can see, even on the front cover, you get that holographic seat with foil. So check to see if the 12 by 12 says that. I don't think it does. Um, it is double-sided. No, it's not, my bad. It's single-sided. And so you can see we have the cut aparts and it gives you a bit of everything on it. You have orange polka dots. You have a bunch of candy corn floating in midair, which I love. 
the confetti of candy corn. <laughs> Here is a foil. Oh my god, can you see that in the camera? I mean, I can see it visually, but I hope you guys can see that concept as well. And there's spiders. Here is a mummy. Here are jack-o'-lanterns, pumpkins. Here's a spider web. I wish our cards would do this, but, you know, they can't. Here's a bunch of words, you know, haunting, wicked, happy haunting, Halloween, boo, spooky. Then we have this beautiful, I want to say it's teal. You might see it as green. So pretty. Or you might see it as blue. They're little bats. Look at these little cat faces. Oh my God, look at that. See the foiling on their noses? And we have candy. We have skulls. We have just stripes and we have skeletons. They kind of look like they're doing the YMCA, but I'm sure that's not what they're doing. Then we have cute little ghosts. We have one here. It's like a bunch of different images all in that foiling concept. Then we have this nice, nice plaid. We have a bunch of pumpkins again. And then we're back to square one. So again, it's just repeating twice. So that's kind of nice. I'm so glad I got this. All right, the next Halloween collection I picked up was Carta Bella's um, Halloween. I don't know. Oh, it's just called Halloween. And I also picked up their ephemera and frames and tags. So let's show you the Halloween collection first. So the one I chose instead of doing single pages was the collection kit because I wanted the 12 by 12 sticker sheet that you kind of see right there. And so you're basically gonna get all these pattern papers and then you get a 12 by 12 sheet and then you get these cut aparts. So I'm really, really happy about that. So they are um, Cardabella is a brand of Echo Park, but Cardabella's paper is thicker, so I don't know if you can kind of hear that. Um, but we have all these cute pumpkins and that different um, fabric looking material in the back. Here are all the cut aparts. And then you have this beautiful starry night. Now, I know I'm going off topic here. But, 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 but. Doesn't she look pretty? Put her popped up. Because since she has that white outline, you can kind of see her separated from that. Put her on a tag. I mean, it just kind of goes. And they're two different collections. So take that into consideration whenever you're looking at stuff. Don't subject yourself to only choosing everything from the same collection and only using that when you're making. Definitely, you know, take things apart, get messy. <laughs> Definitely get messy and have some fun with it. This was just so pretty. It actually screams fall. Um, and we know October is part of fall, but what I'm referring to, it doesn't scream Halloween to me. And I just loved it. This one is so amazing. I just love these little frames and the and the cluster of it. If I had a penny for every time I said this is amazing, right? I'll be a rich lady. So here are um, the bigger cut aparts. These are the four by six. Would be perfect to just put on front of a card front, and then you're done. Then you have stars in the back. Here's another one. Super, super pretty. We have our witch's feet and their hats. Then here are four by four cut aparts. I love that, it's so pretty. We have some spider webs with some bats. We have our pumpkins, some lines on the other side. Here are more 4x6 cut aparts. I really love this one. I love how this one just has Halloween for you. I mean, this one does too, but I just really like that one. 
Then you have some candy on the other side, and we have some kitty cats. So pretty. And then here are the 12 by 12 stickers. I really love this one, how it captions everything. Like a checklist for the holiday season. This ghost is adorable. All right, so that is the collection pack for that collection. Then, um, as I showed you earlier, I did get the frames and tags and the ephemera. So let's go over the ephemera first. You can see everything on the back, but sometimes that's not just fun. We want to hold it because it's sometimes different. If I held it the right way, it would be nice. So broom parking, that's so cute. Here is one to go with that pattern paper, and you can actually cut out the center. Um, eat, drink, and be scary. We have some little banners. Trick or treat. Another couple banners here. I put a spell on you. Bubble, bubble, toil, and trouble. Halloween. Spooky vibes. This one's cute. Um, it's just a little hocus pocus, right? And we have candy. We have some more frames here. Hey there, pumpkin. And that center pops out if you want to use it that way. No tricks, only treats. That's what I'm saying. Spooky Halloween night. I just love that moon. It's so pretty. It's all just a bunch of hocus pocus. Happy haunting. Tis the season to be spooky. Look at the little kitty cat. Home sweet haunted home. Boo to you. I wish you a happy Halloween. Whoa. Spooky. Happy Halloween. Carving pumpkins. Candy day. Uh, yes, please. Spooky. Spooky night. So a lot of sentiments in here. Um, welcome ghosts and goblins. Hocus pocus. And then the last one in this one is Halloween. So again, that's the ephemera pack. The um, frames and tags. So this one is that little cluster that I showed you on the sticker as a tag. And then we have Spectacular Day, Spectacular Halloween. It was the best Halloween. This one says Hello Pumpkin and it is able to pop out. Fright This Way, that's so cute. All Hallows Eve, which that stitched format in there as a font. Trick or Treat. Happy Halloween. The Great Pumpkin Adventure. Trick or Treat. And that is actually a tag. It has a little perforated mark there. Welcome to our haunted house. Boo to you. Oh, wait. There was two in there. Witch's Brew. That's so cute with the little hat. Trick or Treat. The Boo Crew. This one is cute and tiny. It says boo. We have a bigger candy. Yikes. Another little candy. Trick or treat. And this one has the option to remove the center. I like this one. Eat, drink, and be scary. This one's cute too. Kind of reminds me of the 4x4 um, four four we saw earlier. So this one just says boo. Then we have something wicked this way. This one's a little nice one. Look at this. I like it with the little spiders hanging from the mantle. This one's a double double toil and trouble, fire burn and cauldron bubble. This one's a little tiny one. Like if it's in the foyer. Then you have boo and you have another candy and then you have two more. Pumpkin sweets, spooks, and treats. And then this one says, which is market. And you can perforate that. So those are the two pieces that I got from that collection. Now, this is <laughs> unrelated to any Halloween stuff in my stash today. I got the photo play Fashion Dreams. So I know they can't see Barbie on it. 
but after the I saw the movie Barbie and I saw that they were coming out with a collection I pre-ordered it because I think it's so cute I'm not a huge photo play person for some reason I don't know what it is it's just something about the colors and some of their collections that just doesn't grab my attention and I know I've said this before but this one did so you know I did it and so I got it so how cute is this um, one of my nieces absolutely loves Barbie. I mean, I did at one point until I grew out of it when I was younger. But I do like the concept and I did love the movie. So, I figured I might as well have some of this in my stash. And therefore, I got a 12 by 12 So, as usual, they will show you the concepts of the... Uh, paper pads I mean paper options in here and they show you your cut aparts and they show you your 12 by 12 sticker sheet that you'll get so here we go I believe you can also purchase these pages individually you don't have to purchase it in the collection kit that I purchased they are double-sided um, this is a little thinner than the cardabella that I just showed you as you can hear I mean you hear it but it's not as thick so let's see you get two of the same pattern. Here's Barbie's car. And the polka dots in pink. And then you have all the cut aparts. You have her in the car, the pool. Super, super fun. And then the back is just polka dots, blue and white. And then you have the different types of Barbies, so so fun. I love that you can actually just cut them and make them as banner strips if you want to. And then on the back is all these pink and light pink stars. Oh, this is so pretty. So it kind of reminds me of a uh, nighttime sparkle or a dancing thing and then you have your black and white on the other side this one is just makeup or lip gloss nail polish and on the back you have tiaras and sunglasses and bows and diamonds and hearts and all that fun stuff and so then you have the sticker sheet so here is a sticker sheet you have a bunch of different barbies individualized you have like a little a banner you have dream now remember due to copyright you can't really put the name Barbie on here but you can probably do that yourself with your Cricut or your um, die cuts so that was the collection I picked up from photo play at a cherry on top and then this is the ephemera pack that they had I don't know if other stores had different products for this line um, so I just picked up what I saw so let's just show you guys what's in here so we have a banner strip says sweet love your dream or live your dream sorry that's an I then you have another little like a ticket with the sunglasses you have the one that says dream you have a little purse Get your sparkle on, so cute. Oh, and then you have one that has a, a the doll itself. Then we have her car, and then you're so beautiful. We have a heart, and then here are, I guess, the frames. So they have them clustered as so. And so here we go where you have the big polka dot one that has two that pop out. So I'm gonna pop them out for you so you can kind of see what I'm referring to. So those two pop out and then the center part, one has balloons and one has another girl. So you could definitely um, use those as you want. Here you have a tag, you have a photo frame, and then again you have one, two, three, and then you have the happy birthday to you. This one you have the big giant one, then you have her with her suitcase, two different ones with dream it, do it, and then leave a little sparkle wherever you go. And then the last one is, it is the best day ever. Life in plastic is fantastic. And you want to sing the song now. 
let's go party hello gorgeous and the three little icons so super cute simple to me and i think sometimes simple does the job very well so that is my haul guys i know it was a lot um but definitely let me know what you think if you have any questions on any of the stuff i showed you please let me know i will link the websites that i purchased things from down below in case you're interested again i'm not affiliated with anything but i want to thank you so much for taking the time out of your day and checking me out and i hope to catch you on the next video so you guys have a fantastic crafty day and take care ciao